Dear Hannah, today's January 31st, 2008. I hope you don't mind that I wrote this letter while I was at work. I was really bored. I'll copy it into your notebook later, I promise. Anyway, in your last letter you said that you love your copy of Deathly Hallows more than my beautiful deluxe edition. And that got me thinking. I'll have to agree with you about your personal copy, and everyone in the entire Harry Potter fandom's personal copies, for that matter. Being the last book in all, Deathly Hallows probably means more to us than any of the other books in the series. Currently, I have three different copies of Deathly Hallows, and I love them all for different reasons. My deluxe edition, I love because, well, it's pretty. That's, that's pretty much it. Right now, it's the only deluxe edition I have of any of the books, and I think I'm going to keep it that way. Don't hold me to that. Then there's the one that I got at midnight. And to be quite honest, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. Do you remember the first time that you held your book after all that waiting? Because I do. Leanne had it, and when she handed it over, I just hugged it, and I didn't let go. I think that I'll always love that copy because it reminds me of a time when I was terrified to see the release of that book. But that all changed the moment I opened it up and started reading. To this day, that book still holds all those crazy range of emotions. The joy, the fear, the laughter, and especially the tears. That book will always hold the tears from when we first learned that a character died, and in some cases learned that they're actually still alive a week and a half later at Prophecy when we were so angry about some of the things that were being done, like Umbridge stealing Moody's eye. Come on, who does that? Or when we were overjoyed about a character's return, like when Percy came back? Or when Harry walked off into the Forbidden Forest that last time? I don't think that book will ever forget our emotions and tears. I, I really don't. I love it. And then there's my third copy. You know, it looks a lot like my other one. I... That's really weird. I don't know, why do I have this? Like, why do I need this? I don't get it. Hmm. Oh. That's why. To be quite honest, I still can't believe that I have this. And I physically saw J.K. Rowling sign it with my own two eyes. I have to keep looking at it to remind myself that it's real. And just so you know, it is. See that? Right there? That proves that it's real. I don't know if I can even begin to express in this letter what it meant to me to actually be able to meet her and thank her for all that these books have done for me. So anyway, those are the three copies I have. I think at Dollars 2008 I'm going to get a fourth copy, the British edition, and have all my Potter friends sign it. Then this way I'll always have my favorite people in the world with me when I'm at home. Well, I better get back to work. I love and miss you like whoa. Talk to you later, lover pants. Love, Jackie. P.S. Even though blood pops taste kind of weird, I keep eating them. <laughs>